Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening for the folks online. My name is Rashid Khan. Uh, I have the privilege to welcome you all to our 2023 conference. Uh, this is our face-to-face -face conference. We have put a lot of effort and work in it. I'm so glad to see a room full of people here and more people will join us because they're still trying to catch trains and planes to get here, which is fantastic. A uh, little bit about me, uh, as you can see, I work for Red Hat, been there quite a while now, and uh, I have the unique responsibility of taking care of networking on the kernel side, NetDev and company, David Miller, all of those nice folks, and also taking care of DPDK side, so networking for both. So I have to balance uh, very carefully and make sure that both sides and all sides are working. Uh, perfectly fine, and they are, so which is very nice. So does anybody want to guess what my favorite words are? What my favorite word is, or, yeah, two words. Two words, a hint. What do you think my favorite word is? Red hat, good one. That's a good one. It is one of my favorite, yes? Anybody else? It's an actual English word, words. Let's start with sorry. No, it's not sorry. It's something like that. Okay, in the interest of time, I'll give a guess to Thomas. Thomas, what do you think my favorite word is? Good job. Uh, good, you're close, very close. So I'll give you a free cup of coffee also. So it's thank you. And uh, I really like, and I'm, I mean it, I really like thanking people uh, because there's so many people who do a lot of work behind the scenes. Like this lady, Evie, who was running around, um, at the registration desk, they've been working really hard for a long time to put this together. This just doesn't spontaneously happen. It takes a lot of effort and stuff. So there's a lot of people in every occasion, every meeting, every place who work a lot of things behind the scenes to get things going. So I'd like to start off by thanking a lot of people. These are the Board of Governors um, who take care of the governance of this project with the Linux Foundation. Can I request all of you who are in the room to please stand so that you are recognized and people can, so as you can see, there's a lot of good folks here. Uh, there's Robin, there's Gal, there's Yong, there's Pushan, and uh, others, one, one more is here, he's not feeling very well. Anybody else Did I miss? Thank you very much. Thank you. So these are the nice folks from our Gov board and I am one of them. So feel free, I purposely requested them to stand so that you can approach them, you find out more about them, you can talk to them. And then I'd like to also thank our sponsors, sponsors for the project. And really this project depends on all of these fine folks in different companies. So if you are part of this company, please stand. Any of these companies, please stand for a second. Let's get some blood in your legs. Yes, so thank you very much. Thank you for sponsoring the project in different capacities. We love it, awesome. And this is the list of our tech boards. So the tech board is what takes care of the patches, the testing, the direction of the project, making sure it's all going. And yes, believe it or not, there is a whole bunch of people in there it's, and this doesn't say Thomas, 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 Thomas. No, it doesn't. There is a whole bunch of other people who take care of it also. So would the people in tech board please stand for a second to be recognized. We have a lot of them here, that's good. Everybody, the whole tech board is here. All of them, all of them. And another, another small little tidbit this morning, was I was struggling to put what should I put against uh, Stephen Hamminger's name because now that he's independent. And guess what? His tag says independent. I said, whoa, awesome. Because I was going to approach him and say, what should I put in there? So that worked out. That saved 30 seconds of my life. Thanks, Stephen. OK. So let's talk about talking about technical, technical stuff. These are the companies where the technical contributions came in uh, for the last year. So thank you very much, Thomas, for providing me this data. So AMD, Intel, Microsoft, Marvell, Red Hat, and NVIDIA. Um, this is ordered by 
No, this is not ordered in anything. So I think it was just placed by some randomly. So this is, uh, thank you very much for all the technical contributions. This is a technical project. We love it, appreciate it a lot. Okay, and these are the actual numbers that go along with that. As you can see, there's a lot of smart people who put a lot of effort in there. David Marchand, Cha Young, uh, Christian, who's here, Maxime, Bruce, who's here, Thomas himself, Stephen. So there's a lot of fine folks who take care of a lot of patches. As you can see, um, a lot is coming from many different vendors across the board, many different participants, many different sponsors. We'll take questions in the end. Uh, I have a short session today. OK. So I'd like to go over, this was all the thank yous and acknowledgments, et cetera, and I'd like to tell you more about the project, what we have done in the, in the last 12 years and what we have accomplished. And I'll go over some of the technical stuff, some marketing, documentation, testing, and financial. Yes, we have about two hours and 30 minutes, right, Evie? Two hours, 30 minutes, no? Okay, I'll try to squeeze it into 20 minutes. Uh, since last September, as you can see, these are the technical updates, about 145 new contributors. So that's great, you know, it's, it's awesome. I, I highlighted some of this, I don't want to read all of that for you. You can read it on your own. But what stood out to me was three major releases, 145 new contributors. So that's new people, new oxygen, new blood, fresh blood coming into the project, fresh ideas coming into the project, that's fantastic. Um, the biggest contributors were Intel, Marvell, which we mentioned in the previous slides. Um, and the areas where code improvement went in is listed on the right side. The mempool optimizations, uh, the long arch build, uh, PDCP library. I have to find out what that is. I have no idea, but I have. <laughs> and then DTS. So DTS, we'll, you'll hear a lot more about the testing. Over the next few, uh, ne next both days, we have uh, some sessions dedicated for testing in different aspects. So you'll hear from Aaron and Patrick and others, so please uh, participate in those discussions. But my point of this slide is the code is still growing, there's still active participation coming from different people, and many areas of the code are being improved, as we say. So that's great. Uh, then we also worked very hard from marketing. We have a very nice, very smart marketing person who, has, who is helping with the project. And we know these days with the TikTok and LinkedIn and social media presence and everything, we all need marketing. So marketing is to tell people about the project, make LinkedIn posts. Um, it's not on TV, but it is on all the, uh, all the right places at the right times. So as you can see, we have 300% three, more um, website users, which is awesome. We have about 300% new users. We have 600% page views and 31% more in engagement. We have started actually collecting these matrix, uh, matrices from uh, Google and other places. Uh, ben is doing a fantastic job uh, collecting all of that. So since Ben has joined the project, from Linux Foundation. He has really put in a lot of energy and effort into marketing. And as you can see, these are some of the results that are coming out of it. So these are actual measurements. These are not just what we, like some ideas. These are actual measurements. So followers, etc., posts have increased, impressions, so on and so forth. So this is actually showing all the good work that we are doing in marketing. Um, we have six stories in the pipeline. As you can see, this is a big list that Ben is working on, along with Nathan and everybody. Um, we have a monthly newsletter that comes out now. You might have seen it on LinkedIn. If you do see it, please repost it or thumbs up it and so that it uh, gets social, more social media presence. Um, we have six user stories in the pipeline, two developer, developer spotlights in the pipeline. And we are staggering them. We have them all recorded, get ready to go. We are staggering them, putting them out. Many of them have been put out already. Thomas, looks like you have a question. No, good, excellent. Uh, so this is a machine that has started and we hope to increase it and grow it, but it is actually paying dividends right as we speak. Okay, moving along. We also have hired a documentation person. Uh, his name is Dave Young. He's also doing a very good job. 
Uh, he has been uh, Bruce Richardson uh, and Stephen Havinger and Thomas himself are helping him. Thank you very much to all of you. Uh, and he's slowly taking off and making uh, differences. Uh, the Getting Started Guide has been touched and improved, and I think more, uh, a little bit more work is needed in there, but it's in a very decent shape, which is fine. And then the next up is the Programmer's Guide. So, as you can see, marketing is one angle that we are working on. Now, documentation improvement is another one. We shouldn't be a, have a, we don't need to have a PhD in DPDK to be understanding what the project does. So, now to get new people interested, the documentation is very important and we are working on it, especially the getting started guide. Okay, so moving along a little bit fast because I don't have a lot of time, the UNH stuff. So UNH is uh, University of New Hampshire. It's uh, about two hours north of Boston. Patrick is here in a, looking very sharp in a tie today and he's gonna talk more about that, but UNH is where we do our te automated testing and that is where we have recently put a lot of new hardware. So as you can see, um, this is a slide that me and Aaron worked on. Thanks, Aaron, for the slide. But as you can see, about 2,000 problems have been identified by the automated testing. So Aaron had put in uh, 126 failures, and what he really meant was successes. So I said, let's change it to be successes. So that means that 126, for example, the FIPS, FIPS test. FIPS is super important for US government and all of that good different stuff for that certification. So in those case, for the FIPS tests, about, I mean, 126 failures were found by automated testing. And this is just till May 2023. And that means we prevented 126 errors from going into the code. And that's a lot. That's fantastic. So already, as you can see, by running all those tests all the time, it is finding problems, catching them, and we are fixing them before they become part of the code. So this is awesome. I hope you all agree. Automated testing is one of the best testing. Um, in addition to that, we have also purchased hardware to NICs of different kinds, different vendors, that we are putting in the existing servers and creating more networks and testing on those cards. For example, CX6, CX7s, which are from NVIDIA, EA10s, these are some of the newer cards that are coming out from these uh, fine companies. And we have put them in there, we have some benchmarks that run on them, and to make sure there are no regressions from release to release, week to week, and stuff. So we are trying our best to prevent any regressions or bugs to go in the code before they become prime time in the main line. And this is just a partial list. There are other cards and other hardware that is being brought up. We just wanted to list what's already there, but we are actually working with hardware from all the sponsors that you saw on the first slide. And we are trying to, we ask them what card or what hardware they would like to bring in. We are gonna bring that in. We talked yesterday also in the GovBorn meeting to enhance it with more servers. I think UNH is gonna be open for it. So we are expanding the testing matrix and the testing footprint and the testing, et cetera. Again, I re I'm repeating, but Aaron and Patrick will, and Thomas will tell you more about it in the next two days. Okay, financial. Uh, financially, we are doing quite well. Uh, we are in a stable situation financially. Uh, as you can, more, we are very lucky and thankful to all our sponsors who have been sponsoring us again and again and fulfilling their commitments. Not a single one of them has dropped over the last five years, which is, or has lessened their, I mean, nobody has dropped or nobody has stopped sponsoring in the last five years at least, and that's fantastic. And because we did not have face-to-face -face conferences in the COVID years, we have, a, we have saved some, some budget, and that budget we have, which we are trying to transport into other areas and use it over there. Um, the project has decent amounts of funds available, and we want to reinvest, we want to invest in the project, we want to bring it back into the project, we want to do the rightful things there, and we need your ideas, we need your initiative. So we need two things, ideas and initiative, both, not, not one or the other, we need both. So if somebody wants to use DPDK for a water filtration plant for Sub-Saharan Africa, all for it. Let's do it, let's work on it together, 
tell us what we can do about it, but don't just give us an idea and say, Rashid, you take care of it. I think it can be used for water filtration for sub-Saharan Africa. Great, but you do it. So that might not fly, but you say, hey, we can use water filtration for sub-Saharan Africa, which is awesome. This is how I can help. This is how I can charge. I mean, I can lead the charge, and all of us will contribute and help. So we need the idea, we need the initiative, we need the drive, and believe me, we will try our best to help with that idea, promote it, and take it to the next level. Um, I had a thought, oh yeah. Nathan is going to, tomorrow is going to talk about this concept about Shark Tank. How many people know about this concept or show Shark Tank? Maybe it's just an American thing. Okay. Yes. So the, for those people who are not from the United States, you might want to Google Shark Tank, the TV show. Not just Shark Tank, there might be other things that come up. But Shark Tank TV show. Um, but Nathan will tell you more about that tomorrow, and I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, the last thing that I wanted to mention was, um, the, by some miracle I'm actually on time, uh, the last thing I wanted to mention was that the whole per, I asked Thomas, uh, Thomas, Toma, um, what is something that he's looking forward to in the conference? A few weeks ago I asked him, and he said face-to-face -face interactions, and he's absolutely right. The reason we have put this together, the reason you all, so many of you have come in, is for the face-to-face -face interaction. So I'm requesting everybody, let's talk to each other. Let's not talk to the people that we usually talk to, like our own colleagues or team members or whatever. Over the next two days, let's shake some hands, let's talk to people, let's find out what we can do about the project, what they had for breakfast, did they catch up on their sleep, et cetera, et cetera. But let's make some friends. Uh, another colleague of mine said that if you know someone, it's hard to be a jerk on the mailing list with them. So if you know the name to the face, then we all are more polite and, and courteous to each other, so that helps as well. So let's talk, let's talk more. I want to talk to as many of you as possible. I want to hear more about your ideas, how you are using DPDK, what are your plans for the next year, et cetera, et cetera. So let's collaborate, let's talk more. I think we have some time for questions. We have a few. So for questions, what we are going to do is, because it's being recorded and transmitted live, there is a table there, and uh, because if it, somebody takes the mic, then usually the person starts asking the question already. So f to avoid that, we are requesting people to just come here. It's good to get some blood in the legs anyways. Uh, so does anybody have any questions? Okay. Does anybody have an idea that they want to preview for Shark Tank for tomorrow? But you might say, what's Shark Tank? So I don't know. Okay. I think we are good. I'm going to be around for the next two days anyways. Let's talk more. Thank you for being here.